<laughs> it's seriously been so long since I've worn this. <sighs> gonna read the books. Gonna read the books. Gonna read them. Gonna read them. Gonna read the books. <laughs> oh my god. It is so hot, man. I should not be wearing Oh my god, I'm totally copying from Cad at Stars and Embers, but I literally don't have any fancy pajamas. And when I saw her in her unicorn onesie, I thought I can wear my unicorn onesie too because this is fun. But it's hot. It's very hot right now. That's why I've got the sleeves up on the onesie. But guys, I'm excited because I'm here to show you my TBR for the Read Your Bookshelf a thon or Ribsat, which is an easier way to say it. I've done Ribsat for years, but we haven't had a round for three years. And this readathon was created by the life of Miranda. Or you might have known her as Book Kisses 101. So I'm gonna link her down below and I'll also link her announcement videos. But she was off YouTube for a while, but now she's come back and she's bringing back Ribsat. So this is kind of like a reunion video for us and the theme is pajamas so this is why the onesie is happening this is why i've got this on it's so soft man i haven't worn this for years it's just been hanging on my door for so long and it actually fits more I probably got fat, but it's exciting that this readathon is happening and the theme is pajamas and I will just wear my general pajamas when I do my vlog because that's what I live in but to make it fancy oh I think I just ripped something I think I just broke it <laughs> But the readathon goes from the 13th to the 20th of January, so it is coming up soon, but it is on a Wednesday. And it goes Wednesday to Wednesday, so we have eight days, which is a very good amount of time. And there's a lot going on with this readathon, but it's actually so simple. Because what you got to do is you come over and you pick points somewhere on your shelves. It could be here, it could be here, or it could be here. And you just have to read along, or you can read along this way, or you can read up, down, zigzag zigzag this way you could like start here then go here then go this way like basically you have free reign of what you want to do and it's just great because i don't know where i want to read from and i don't think there's any rules about this one that we have to read in a certain way because some rounds we aren't allowed to go diagonal but i don't think they're doing it for the reunion so if i am wrong i am sorry but i honestly don't know where i want to pick up on my shelves because there's a lot of books that I want to read and I don't know what I want to read. Hello, we're at my shelves. So part of me was thinking I should pick up from the Guinevere Deception and then I can read Vassar in the Night then go to Chainbreaker, which is not the right one. This is the sequel. My God, so that is the right one. And like do that, but I also don't know if I want to read that much fantasy. And then another option I thought would be to read of Curses of Kisses and then go to Four Days of Me and You. Then I've read these four and then I could go to One of Us is next, but like, I don't know. I'm stressed and I don't know if I want to like come over here and read maybe some contemporaries because like, I really want to read not like the movies, but then I've read all of these and then I could go to Spoiler Alert, then I've read all of these and maybe go to like Take a Hint Danny Brown. Clearly I'm reading Chloe Brown at the moment because it's not there keep going like I don't know I don't know what I want to do like it's just too much like I've got too many options for a TBR here so I just had a great idea I think out of those three options comment down below which option you want me to do so if you want me to start with the Guinevere deception comment that if you want me to start with of curses and kisses comment that or if you want me to start with not the girl you marry comment that and if I have no comments I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna need help so please comment on my video help me pick my TBR because like I love this readathon but coming back for the first round there is so much hype there is so much happening that I'm like oh my god I'm so excited but I don't know what I want to do and my battery's running out oh my god guys I don't think I really need to say too much more about this readathon I am very excited that it is coming back and all the things are happening but definitely the Twitter is where you're gonna want to be if you want to follow a lot of stuff about this readathon I use Twitter but I really don't do like reading sprints or follow things very much like I should try and do it more but I don't getting too hot man <sighs> too much man you can like spread so wide in this i'm so obsessed with having this onesie on it's never coming back probably for a while but this video it is here but i'm very excited about this readathon but i feel like i have to end now because my thing is dying but i hope you guys are hyped please vote to tell me what you think i should read just to take the decision away from me because i don't know but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this tbi video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye